Hey, what's up guys? So I have a painting business and during the winter months, we slow down quite a bit. You know, I live in Colorado, we do a lot of exterior. You can't do that during the winter, so we get pretty slow. So because of that, back in 2015, I started doing Christmas lights. Now at first, I was really hesitant to do it, but I can say now that it was one of the best decisions that I ever made. And now I wanna give back and show you exactly what I'm talking about, so I made this Christmas light course. But first, let's back up and let me tell you a little bit about my story. So if you have watched or watch any of my other videos, you'll see that I'm an extremely analytical person and I take planning and business strategy super serious. And it's because of this why I struggled and hesitated to make the decision to go ahead and do Christmas lights. Because the way I saw it, it was like the clear, easier move or strategy is to just figure out a way to sell more paint jobs. Why would I go learn a completely other service, go through all those growing pains and do it for something that has a, a way smaller job size? Plus I'd seen others try it, not do that well, kind of maybe have a little bit of success, but just stop doing it in the future years. So it seemed like a big risk that just didn't seem like the right move to take. Another thing that people really don't understand and see about the Christmas light business is how short of a sales cycle and season it actually is. I mean, think about it from your client's point of view, right? When do people think about Christmas lights? Usually after Halloween, they might start to think about Christmas lights and it builds up to Thanksgiving. And then like right after Thanksgiving, that's when you turn on the Christmas lights. But if you wait till like, December 7th, that's too late because Christmas is in like three weeks. So the actual time to sell your opportunity is really, really, really short. And the reason this stinks is, you know, by the time you figure something out or have a new idea you wanna implement and try, the season's over and you basically have to wait all the way till next year to give it a shot. But I gave it a shot because I had seen and know of other people that that's literally all they do is Christmas lights. They work like three, four months out of the year and they don't do anything else and they make a great living off of it. So I knew there was tons of potential and opportunity there. All right, so I took the risk, did the Christmas lights and by 2017, we were doing about 50 grand in revenue. And then I realized there was a huge big problem. The business I had built wasn't really scalable. I mean, you could scale it, but it wasn't the right strategy, the right model. And the model I was using, what you know, pretty much everyone else does with it. So I had to really stop, think about what we were doing and figure out a way to make something that was exciting and super scalable. You know, I really focus on how can we give the most value to our customer? How can we have the most value for us? Meaning like make the most profit. But the most important thing is that it's scalable and you can blow it up and make it huge. And this really, really hurt our business. The next year we didn't grow because we had to implement so many changes to try to figure out if this worked. And like I said, since it's such a short season, it is really hard to test new ideas and validate that they actually work. But once we made all the changes and got our new systems in place, it exploded. We had 71% growth and we could have actually done more Christmas lights that year. We just ran out of lights and all the suppliers did too. They said they're out of stock. And if we ordered from a new place, it would have taken like a week to get here. And like I said, that's too late, you know? It's the beginning of December. People don't wanna wait till like the eighth, ninth or 10th to get their lights. They want it right now. And that's when I realized the unforeseen best, most valuable part of Christmas lights is the equity in it. It's an annual subscription model with extremely high return rates. The number one reason people don't come back the following year is because they just moved. Last year, we had 82% of our clients return. And what's amazing about that is like, unlike painting, it's so reassuring knowing like, hey, we don't have to do any marketing. We don't have to do any sales. We don't have to buy any materials. And we just know that revenue is coming back. It almost to me feels like an insurance plan because I would never recommend this or actually do this but if I absolutely got into some situation where I needed a bunch of cash, a lot of money, because I started doing this Christmas light business, I know that come Christmas time, I could easily make two grand a day for 60 days. You can do the math on that. You can see that's over six figures. And it's just so nice knowing I have that in my back pocket. Now that would involve me actually doing the labor, which I would never recommend doing. I'm gonna be focused on growing the business, getting more equity, but like I said, just it's nice to know like that it's there and, and literally I just sleep better. And what I mean by equity is that the Christmas light business is a lot more valuable business. If you think about it from the perspective of like, what is your business worth or what would somebody be willing to pay to buy it? You know, I'm not gonna sell it ever, but the reason it has more value is that 
annual subscription model with a high retention rate. Because think about it, like let's say that you built any kind of business, right? Where you have to go out and get new clients each year. And maybe you're doing some marketing, like let's just say it was Facebook ads. It's like, if you're looking at the business to buy it, it's like, well, yeah, let's say half your work comes from Facebook ads. Like what if all of a sudden that becomes super competitive or there's a change made? like recently, right? We saw with Apple making it harder to track things and stuff that that could just like be gone. And then what's the business worth? Versus like the Christmas light business is like, you have those relationships, they're there. You're not relying on some other thing. So this is my life. I'm a super competitive person and I really wanna make the absolute best Christmas light course out there. If it isn't that already, I'm confident that I will get there because this is something I'll continue to work at and make better over the years. You know, we cover pretty much everything. I cover our business strategies, the old traditional way. I've got all the training videos on how to do it any way you wanna do it. Marketing, you know, pricing, contracts, like how to actually estimate it, all of our like emails and systems that we use to keep everything organized. It's all in there. Basically we show you, here's how you do Christmas lights and here's the business strategy behind it. And I think that's where the real gold with real value is. There's ongoing support if you have questions or have a hurdle that you're trying to get over or something like that. I really believe this course can help you skip, you know, three or four years that we had to go through of learning. Cause remember it's a short sales season. So realistically it's like four years is like not even a full year of business. With like, if you're doing something else, like it's year round, you can like test something, wait a couple months, try something new. It's not like that with Christmas lights. You have a very limited amount of time and then a whole year goes by, so you forget a lot of the stuff that you learned or that you wanted to try. All right, if you have any questions, shoot me an email or drop them in the comments. I know I'm gonna change lives with this. And even if you don't wanna buy my course, that's fine. I'm just letting you know that Christmas Lights is a very, very, very good business to be in and I highly recommend it. But if you wanna skip and bypass some pretty hard growing pains, I would check out my course and see if it's right for you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one.